What's up YouTube, PJ back with another video for you guys and today it looks like it's gonna be a pretty hot day but on the contrary I do have some good news and some better news. The good news is Starting off with Pegasus right here, we have fixed the high pitch squealing or whining sound from the front, also the rattling sound, so now we don't have any weird noises coming from the front of the car, and that's always a plus. And the better news, y'all probably will be pretty satisfied by that, is I'm gonna actually fix the exhaust tips. If you don't know, then just take a look. I like the way this one sits, but then where's this one? way tucked in here and it's just uh, I hate the way it sits I want it to be poked out like probably about right here and dropped a little bit and as you can tell I also have problems cleaning it because of how tucked it is so I'm gonna bring the car in the garage and let it sit in there put it on jack stands and start fiddling with the exhaust Bruce, I'm coming, man. Oh, it's pretty muddy right here. Wish we had something other than mud right here, but Bruce, you ready to come out, man? Huh? Huh? Look at I know it's pretty hot. It's pretty hot, man. You ain't got that much more water. And by the way, this is an air conditioned, well, soon to be air conditioned we need to get some electricity put in here which we've been working on lately but the people just haven't come and did it yet i don't even think y'all have seen the inside of this house yet sneak peek it's kind of messy but y'all don't need to be seeing it always gotta come in here every well a few times a day grab some ice put bruce look what i got you bruce Look what I got you. Hold on. Sit. Good boy. A few moments later. Alright, so I just put Bruce up. And y'all probably are wondering why I set my car up in the front if I had to do something with the back of it. And that's just because I got under it just to make sure I did not have any exhaust leaks or anything. And from my knowledge, I don't believe that I did. But now it's time for me to get under here, which there's enough room because I just need to loosen this up, I believe. And once I loosen that up, then I probably can pull the tip out a little bit. And that should free up enough space or the exhaust enough for me to mess around with this and pull it out some. Let me get started with that. All right, so I need to use a 15 millimeter socket to loosen this up. I believe they're both 15 millimeter. All right, so I did move it down a little bit. As you can see, like I can put my finger right here and clean this if I need to, but it's not quite as perfect as the other one, but I'm not gonna worry about that for now. I'm just gonna wait until I have to take off my rear end so I can just take the whole exhaust down and redo it after I install the bushings for the rear end that I've been had that I'm still waiting to uh, install, but you know, People like me get kind of lazy sometimes and don't want to do it and I don't have a shop and I don't necessarily have free friends that can help me with it. So, I mean, it's just not at the top of my bucket list right now. But as for now, I am getting kind of hungry. So I think I'm gonna 
probably go find me something to eat or maybe just go to Smoothie King, get me a smoothie because your boy is uh, trying to watch his figure, you know what I mean? Just playing about that, as you can tell, I'm like skin and bones. I'm not really too fat or too muscular or any of those things. So let me quit playing around with y'all. And I'm looking in my trunk. I need to clean it out, but I have my helmet. I don't know why, but I think I'm feeling like going to the track sometime soon. Let me know if you want to see that in the comment section below. And if you have some exterior mods that you would want me to do with the car or I recommend that I do, then let me know that also. I would like to get a rear diffuser because those things look sick on this car. I do want to get some spacers because wheel gap and fitment is everything. But I don't know. Let me know what you want me to do with the car. today's video um i wish i could have done a little more with the video but all in all i got what i needed to get done done so uh i mean i can't really be too down on myself about that but let's keep high hopes and uh oh yeah for all you louisiana natives out there that like cars and car events and things if you have any car events that are coming up um in the month of may or june or whenever is closest then just let me know because I am trying to go to more car events. I am trying to do more things with the car, including other cars. And if you have a car that you would like to be featured on the channel, let me know that too. Don't be scared to DM me on Instagram or comment in the section below or just try to contact me because I do try to contact everyone back about any and everything that they have. Because I, I don't like keeping people out and I don't like when people feel left out. So. You know, I just try to make everyone feel welcome. But I'm now headed to the gym. And oh, yeah, don't forget about the discount code I have. Use TMP10 for 10% off these monthly auto cents. I still get them. And you can get them too for just a small fee. Maybe your car smells all nice and stuff like mine smells like mango right now, if you see. But let me go ahead and. Oh, wow. I missed it. Well, dang, I can't drive. Yeah, but like I was saying, if you do have any events or anything that you would like me to go to, or if you would be going to, oh look, police, police, police. If you have any events that you would want me to go to, then just let me know, and don't be scared to let me know. But like I was saying, this just about wraps up the video. I appreciate all of you guys for sticking around. But always remember to do more, be more, believe more, and achieve more. And I thank you all for watching.